small, curly-haired dog. Henry III loved his Bichons so much, he wore them around his neck in a basket. Sort of like Bichon bling. Bichon Fusain. Those are wonderful little dogs. I mean, they're so cute. The dog we call the Bichon Frise appeared in the Mediterranean in the 14th century when this water spaniel, the Barbit, was crossed with a poodle. The Bichon's short legs and sturdy structure made him a great traveling companion and lap dog. The Bichon is also known for its cheery personality. Lots of owners swear their Bichons smile. But it was the Bichon's lush double coat that secured its status as one of the most popular lap dogs. <laughs> Binti, a five-month-old puppy, is one of those Bichons that has bonded with humans. She was born with a hole in her heart, a PDA heart murmur, and the breeder loved her enough to contact smallpox and ask them to help to save her life. Robin Presnell is the founder and director of Small Paws Rescue, an organization that saves Bichons. Her mission was critical, to find not only a home for Binti, but a family that could afford some hefty vet bills. The clock was ticking when Robin heard from the Hoffman family. Al and Dawn Hoffman and their daughters Sophie and Ava were grieving the loss of one of their Bichons, Bijou, who died unexpectedly. It was very traumatic. So it's and it's been a it's a it's a process to get over that, and I think the children are aware of that, and we've taken our time to to heal from that. I was left feeling really sad because Bijou would always play with us. She'd bark a lot, which I liked because it was funny. Yeah, me too. For the Hoffmans, finding a new dog was an opportunity to teach their girls about the adoption process and the responsibility involved in taking in a pet. What a good girl. They understand that there's lots of dogs and pets.